Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I went to Universal Studios Hollywood, and I'm not really sure why, but my intro clip was deleted or, or something. I don't know, I can't find it, so I had to redo it right here at my house. But basically the original clip was just talking about how busy the park was gonna be looking. And then on the next clip, I'm explaining why. So the reason why I said is because today they are checking for proof of vaccination. It is the week of Christmas, and like, look at these lines. And there's even more people coming from CityWalk. I don't really mind the crowds here at Universal just because I don't really ride too many rides here. Uh, but as long as we can get on the studio tour, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> but anyway, since we are here as early as we usually are, the gates are currently open and we can enter the park through the archway. So I think we're gonna enter the park that way. Man, the park looks so beautiful today. I love how they have the lights on right now. Really nice. But I think we're gonna start our day off over here at the Universal Studio Store. Just like we always do. We're gonna go ahead and check, see if there's anything new today. So there was nothing new in the first couple of rooms that we checked, but over here in the Grinch merch, they have this new shirt. Or it's new to me anyways, I've never seen it. It says, get in touch with your inner Grinch. <laughs> That's awesome. This one is $25, and it looks like they have sizes small, all the way up to, I think a 3X? And then in case you are looking for it, they have plenty of the Grinch spear jersey style shirt so it's not it's not a spare jersey but it's got the same style and then this one is $55 let me show you guys the back this one's cool but I also saw this keychain that was kind of cool you have Max and this is Merry Grinchmas this one retails for $14 and then they have this Grinch picture frame. <laughs> it's cool. This is as merry as it gets. This one is $27. And I just read the sign, I didn't know this, but all the Grinch and Seuss merchandise is excluded from all discounts. That kind of sucks. And the reason why I say it kind of sucks is because I'm sure if you could use your discount here, people would be more willing to buy the merch, you know, like the Grinch stuff and the Dr. Seuss merch. Because you can use it on other merchandise, just not on the Dr. Seuss and the Grinch, which, I mean, that's what people want. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, who knows, maybe after Christmas, uh, all this stuff will go on sale, like the HHN merch did. Well, we'll know next week. <laughs> and then speaking of HHN merch, it looks like they finally got rid of it all. I don't know if they sold it or just put it away for next year, but it is not here anymore. But as far as like just Christmas or holiday merchandise, they did add a couple of things. Let me go and show you. So they added a couple of tumblers. This one's by Swig. Cold will last 24 plus hours and hot will last 12 plus hours. I like this one. Let's see, this one is $34.95. And then they have this one. I have like four or five flannels that look just like this. <laughs> this one is $39.95. And then they have this one. Kind of looks like an ugly Christmas sweater. This one is $39.95 as well. But there's this new Happy Holidays hoodie. It's got the Universal Studios Hollywood marquee on there. Christmas tree. I like it. I just wish it wasn't this light gray. Maybe if it was like a darker gray, I'd be more into it, but yeah, it's too light for me. But they do have sizes, looks like medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. And then let's see how much it costs. This one is $57. And then over here on this side, looks like they added a new kids holiday shirt. This is Happy Holidays. And then Universal Studios in the middle with the Christmas lights and snowflakes. $20 for this one. I wish they would have made this in bigger sizes for adults too. But for kids, they have extra small all the way to an XL. But anyways, we ended up leaving the Universal Studio store and now we're just walking around the park a little bit just to like see if there's anything new. And I've already found a couple things decorations wise. I feel like the last time we were here, these, uh, these light poles weren't decorated like this. They look nice though. And if you look closely, like they have uh, like little records on there just to keep up the theme with uh, Mel's Diner. It's awesome. And then all the dining tables are now decorated as well. They have like this wrap on top of it. It looks really nice. 
Really festive. There's a blue one. And then over here in Pets Place, they also added decorations on the light poles. Look at that. That definitely wasn't there the last time I was here. And the little snowflakes are even lit up right now. So pretty over here. Also, the last time we were here, there was construction walls surrounding Minas Cafe. And today, all the walls are down. I'm not really sure when that happened. I wasn't here last week, so it could happen last week, but it's all new to me. <laughs> but I love how they decorated Minas Cafe. There's like a wrap all around the, the door. There's like minion Christmas sweaters. This one has like minion ornaments. And then this one has presents on it. <laughs> and in case you guys are looking for like the holiday minion popcorn bucket, they have it here as well. So as usual, we came over here behind Super Silly Funland to get a look at Super Nintendo World. And here's how it's currently looking. Jeez, this is really taking shape right there in the middle. And it looks like there's like walls up already right there. Let's say on the second floor, I guess you can say. Not where the purple is, but like that lighter shade of blue. Wow. Lots changed. <laughs> and then as far as the supposed entrance, it looks about the same as it did two weeks ago when I was here. So I can't really comment too much on that, but hopefully, like I said, we start seeing like walls go up on there or some theming or something. But as always, we'll check again next week when we come back. Uh, I really can't wait for them to finally open Super Nintendo World because it's gonna be cool to like go back and see all the footage of like them building it or like just to see like our updates every single week until the point of them opening. That's gonna be awesome. So I'm really looking forward to writing the studio tour today because usually on the weeks where they have like holidays, there's not much production going on because you know, everybody's at home or on vacation or whatever. And so they usually take us through the whole studio tour instead of like skipping uh, certain areas but looks like it's currently a 10 minute wait so it's not too bad so i was passing by the quickie mart and something cool caught my i'm gonna show you guys it's this crew neck sweater over here that's cool get the whole simpson family on there oh what fun it is <laughs> to look on homer's face this one is $52. Looks like sizes range from a small to a 2X. Nothing on the back. And there's also this Christmas shirt. It's a ringer tee. <laughs> no, it's Da Ho Ho. $28. Look at all those donuts. <laughs> Uh, sizes range from a small to a 2X as well. So the wait time said that the studio tour was only a 10 minute wait. It was actually a walk-on. So this is going to be a very, very loud tour. I don't know what it's out there rattling, but it's really loud. Here's a look at the backside of Super Nintendo World. It doesn't look like anything's really changed over here. So like I mentioned earlier, there's not much production going on right now because of the holidays. And so we're actually like in the metro Halton area. Hey buddy, how's it going? Remember me? No. Just like old times. Gotta love New York. They usually skip this area like on a normal day because oh, there's always filming going on back here. Yeah, it's cool guys. I was just, you know, just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets.
our revert lord because as we make this next turn, we'll be seeing two of the most historic sets still standing in Hollywood today. The Bates Motel and the Psycho House Well, the studio tour just ended. That was a lot of fun. We survived an earthquake and a shark attack. <laughs> so our next stop is going to be the lower lot. So we made it to the lower lot and check it out. There's a Triceratop meet and greet. <laughs> Did you guys get a photo with Juliet? Oh, her name is Juliet. Awesome. Is that cool? You know, we've been testing something out. I see, awesome. I see some guests. I would love some help. Do you guys want to come help me? Yeah. Look to say hello to Juliet. Look how big she is. We're going to bow at the waist and say, hello, Juliet. Can you guys do that? Wow. You see how she, she nodded her head down and made a noise? She's talking back to us. So Julia is very friendly and very playful. So do you guys want to try to play a game with her? Her favorite game is Happy Feet. Do you guys know how to do Happy Feet? You. Oh, that's so cool. This is her way of playing games and communicating. Say thank you, Julia, and bow your head again. You know, in all my visits to Universal, I don't think I've ever seen the Triceratops out. So this is actually a first for me. But that was really cool. The kids were loving it. So in case you guys weren't able to find it in the upper lot, they also have the Christmas merchandise down here in the lower lot. They have the Happy Holiday shirt, the baseball tee. They have the tumblers. And they even have the hoodie. And then we decided to hop on over to Jurassic Outfitters and this shirt is pretty cool. It's not new, but it is awesome. And it's pretty helpful like in any theme park. Because, you know, theme parks, people don't really keep their distance, but I like this one. If you guys do too, this one is $25. So not only do they have a keep your distance shirt, they also have a drawstring bag that says keep your distance. So in case you're wearing both, you can let the people in front of you know to keep their distance, and then the backpack will let the people behind you know to keep their distance, and you'll be completely covered. <laughs> They yeah, have this pretty cool straw hat. Look at that. This will be really good in the summer. Get the sun out of your eyes. If you guys are interested in this one, it retails for $28. Check out these pretty cool license plates. I'm not sure if they're new or if it's like a restock, but I don't remember seeing these on my last trip here. This is cool. And it's only $13. I spot a new lounge fly bag. Check that out. It's blue from Jurassic World. The arms. Wow, this one's nice. There goes the pop last way. Emblem. Let's see how much it costs. If you guys are interested in this one, it is $82. And I believe you can use your, your pass discount here. Then here's a look at the lining inside. It's got the Jurassic World logo and then the Pop logo. I have to admit, this is probably one of the cooler launch flies that uh, Universal's ever gotten in. It's awesome. And then under the launch fly bag, it looks like they have a new Camp Cretaceous keychain. It is the Nublar. This one is $12. And then they even have a pin. Camp Cretaceous. Eight dollars for the pin. So we ended up leaving Jurassic Outfitters and before we make our way back to the upper lot, I want to show you guys the current wait times as of, let me see, it is 10.54. So Forbidden Journey is 75 minutes, Fly the Hippogriff is 65, All of Andrews is 50, Studio Tour is 15, Despicable Me is 70, Simpsons Are Right is 55, Kung Fu Pan is 15, Jurassic World is 40, Transformers is 40, and Mummy is 55. So I will say that when I first got to the park, the wait times weren't that bad. So my best tip for you guys is show up early. So we just made it back to the upper lot, and man, the crowds have definitely arrived. <laughs> it's busy on the way in. It's busy at the entrance of Hogsmeade. And heading towards Springfield. So we made it to the plaza, and it's currently a 70 minute wait to meet the Grinch. I was hoping to get another interaction with the Grinch, but that wait time is a little bit too long for me today. I'll probably try again next week. But anyways guys, I think I'm in the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.